stopped it. There we go. Uh, hello. What I <laughs> I've been doing that intro for almost a year. I, mean, I keep jumping back to it. Oh, hey everyone, and welcome aboard. I'm your. Bleh, I'll be your captain, Hillian tonight. Uh, not tonight, today. Uh, along with my. The fearsome first mate, Rakir, at your service. And welcome back to All the Mod Seven. This should be the fourth episode, and uh, I've been a bit busy with this. For one, I've. Now, I'm making a much bigger forge down here. That is actually for a purpose as to why it's so big. Because we're going to be putting something up above it, eventually. I probably should get rid of that gravel there before it falls in. I thought we ought to put this in the arcane forge area, not in public, in public domain. <laughs> Uh, we we can make this into a sort of proto arcane forge and later move it, but uh, yeah, the well for one the the colony is under attack by barbarians from the northeast, which haven't gotten themselves killed by mobs yet. The Dogans. And yeah, I built around some pathways, and uh, and what Muncher just rising from the grave again. One other big thing that I did was, well, I made a transmutation ta a tablet with all the Project E stuff. This thing is pretty annoying to get because you need, like, 2 million EMC value to make it. But with some tree farms going on, uh, well, not really tree farms, but these over around the corner here. With these going, it uh, was pretty easy to get, uh, especially when I started just throwing some dimensional shard stuff at it, because that is that sp stuff is extremely valuable, apparently. I so misheard you badly there for a moment. What now? It's not laughing lewd this time, just... I thought you said the... What was it now again? Is it tragic... Tragic E something? A project E. Yeah, I thought you said tragic E. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Project E is really... I'm, I'm not sure if we had it on the last time we streamed it, but just to cover it, basically, you, it's alchemy. You throw stuff into it, you get EMC for it. I, I think it stands for equivalent mass something. But basically, you can... You can build up power in it, and then you can get stuff out of it that you fed into it. You can't get anything out of it that you haven't fed into it before. And it I will think learn it's... recipes as you throw stuff into it. I think it's equivalent, equivalent mass consumption. Could be. For some reason, it sounds familiar to me that way, but I don't know from... Wait, wait is it from full of a metal alchemist? Yeah, uh, that has that. Also, I made a... I also did a bit of work here. Not much with the portals yet, but I will be doing that. I mostly just cleaned up and put this in here to avoid anything from wandering in or wandering out. Probably a good idea. Um, have you make, been making street lights? Yep, those are all over the place as well here. Also, give me a second whilst I just turn off all the waypoints so they don't just keep popping in on everything. Uh, yeah, this here is just a bit of basic redstone stuff. It could probably be made more compact, but yeah, I'm not good with redstone. I'll try to get more into that eventually. Actually, I... Th no, that doesn't work. I I believe there is some way that you can get redstone to work across little gaps like this, even though technically it shouldn't. But yeah, that's that. Keeping that access accessible in case I do change it up. Uh, beyond that, we've lost yet another freaking builder. But in turn, we have gotten a very capable, <clears throat> a very capable builder from one of the tavern visitors. Nice! And yeah, they're oh. not happy at all with everything, still. We can't the take only, wait, two more. What's the, what's the only good thing, hunger? Yep. Well, at least they're not starving. Mm, yeah, at the moment they're of course not happy because they're being invaded and such. And we could go look for those, but... 
yeah, it's, with all of the caves and such, it could be a very annoying way. It could take quite a bit to actually find the motherfuckers. And yeah, I've been building more houses and upgrading them. They're, they're still in progress. Some guard towers here and there. But uh, <clears throat> the builders won't work when there's an invasion going on. So yeah, all of that is on a big halt at the moment until that clears itself up or we clear them up. He should probably do that. Mm. So and also, also, why is the yard for the tavern greener than the town hall? Uh, <laughs> no idea, really, but we could pro we could work on that. Just let me grab some dirt. I don't think I had this secondary bag last time, but it's just for, well, easily... For stuff that we get a lot of, like dirt and such, we I put in this an upgraded filter, no, the, the upgraded pickup upgrades with a filter, which makes it focus only on these things to pick up and whatever else I just throw in there, just to have extra room. Now then, um, what to do first though? I. I should probably put in some more of these, or just completely automate this with pipes and such. The areas have been walled off completely, so we shouldn't be dealing with any more intruders. Though there have there has been a few slimes popping in here and there, so I don't know where they are coming from. Do we even have a guard, active guard? Mm, well, there is one, but he... Uh, his guard tower needs to be upgraded before he can use anything besides wood and stuff. But, it's, well, there he is. And, well, the builders and such are refusing to work because there's an attack. So, yeah, we should probably go deal with that first. Yeah, you, you are kind of the leader. <laughs> and I've actually been thinking, like, yeah, when we made this town, was a bit before we came full out, I would feel that we were to be pirates. True. So we could uh, have a bit more mixed uh, architecture around here. Uh, yeah, the dwarven stuff is really freaking big in size. So, yeah, I've, I've been cheating a bit by putting down some stone stuff, which is a lot smaller in size, but requires uh, more varied materials. Yeah, and the, we can look at putting down some wood stuff as well. Yeah, the only thing I think that should still be dwarven is the blacksmith, since, well, makes sense. Uh, and maybe the miner could be dwarven style also, but as a maybe. Yeah. Also, we Depending how out, big yeah. that is. Oops, Oops, told me that if you put bread, you know, if you cook bread again, it turns into toast, which is actually a lot more useful. Yeah, I think that's from the mod. Yeah, I don't the, think you can make toast in regular. Mods. Also, I randomly noticed this whilst I was running back and forth between here again. There's been an amethyst here all this time. Wait, you put another one? Yeah, or rather we ran past one that has been around for a lot longer already. Yeah, if I know, I think last time you and me stream off screen, you showed me one you found, but that one's just new for the old one you could reach at least. Yeah, the other one is to the south of the... Oh. To the south of the colony and just because i got a bit tired of running back and forth between both ends i put down another waystone that's just that's just called uh colony you just did you just sprung a leak inside a mountain <laughs> holy yeah that's another quite big on <laughs> on the water area but that's actually good for did we say we were to do a underground harbor? Uh, we were planning on trying at the very least. Yeah, and area. Then, f hmm. but, 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 oh, yeah. That's not far. True. Uh, wait, if that goes under the town. I don't think it, it's that big. Yeah, but, uh, as, a, as a if. A big if. But, no, it's the west again, sides. if, big if, it goes under the town very close, we may have an actual spot to make the underground harbor itself. 
true. Uh, also, I've been exploring quite a bit enough that I that it <laughs> moved into a second page with these. No, uh, they, also, yeah. we went into the Nether to look around, and yes, here's that southern one. It's just right next to the other builder. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, we found a blaze spawner. We found, actually found two of them, but there was something. Uh, the game crashed at one point, and it it well, it went a bit odd with it. It actually it undid a bunch of uh, progress, but it saved the stuff that we had in our inventory, so some of my tools got duplicated. Yeah, a bit of a blessing and a curse. Yeah, or rather. A random sacrificial act? It, it, wait, I'm kind of right with that. You sacrifice progress to get duplication. It wasn't too much stuff that got duplicated, like the hammer and the axe, I think. Uh, and it, well, it also made it a lot easier to just find where the stuff was, where the blaze spawners and such were, because, well, I'd found them already before. Yep, and, and the bloody wildens jump scaring me. And ooh, that's a deep fall. It would be nice if there was some way to recognize the barbarians and such. So, oh, hello. Oh. Okay, that that's a lot more loot in there than I was actually expecting. Tunnel treasures. First instant. Okay. Uh, that mod with the treasure chests. Um, yeah, it has, apparently it has three versions then, because we found them as chests, we found them as barrels, and now also as minecart uh, chests. Uh, let's quickly put everything yeah. away. You can't beat minecarts like that, apparently, even vanilla. Uh, we're keeping those. Yes, and I don't know. Ones. The, these, are the, these are the specific ones for the looter mods. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out. If it works to put a chest in a minecart in vanilla, but like, if it does, then nice. Just just put stuff in the chest and roll it away. That could be pretty useful. And the reason I'm just grabbing all of that stuff is to just throw it in here and be rid of it. It'll save us a lot more on our inventory space. And let's see. Another spell, some rope, glow berries, another name tag, some more armor, and superstitious hat. Applies an extra level of looting to killed enemies. Okay. All right. And Enchanted's glow berries. I can say we could glue some glow, so grow some glow berries in the uh, colony. <laughs> okay, just picking some of these up. To to teach them to the tablets. Uh, there. What is glueberries? I will recently recall you need for potions that are very good. But I, I don't think the YouTube have mentioned what kind of potion it was. <laughs> okay. Um... And that annoys me. Like, these are very portable potions, alright? And then says nothing else. Yeah, just leaving out the actual important contacts as to why. Yeah. It's definitely really freaking annoying with people. Like, this is important. Why? Because it is. Yeah, or in this case, I think that he got... Is it one of those 100 videos? I think it was a case of... He was to do it and got distracted or accidentally cut out that bit. Uh, also, we're going a lot faster because we found... Let's see, where is it? There, some running shoes, which well increase movement speed and allow us to do. If I can show it off, it'll automatically, it'll move us over one block height. So that is going to be very useful. But as only, it only does that when we're running. So for now, yep. let's just keep looking for where the hell these bloody invaders are supposed to be. Yeah, uh, just, hmm. it, they can if be above it, us. If they expand to us this direction. We could easily flatten this area smoothly to well, make it easier to build. Have make a mine out of it, perhaps? Yeah, possibly. Do we did say we just maybe around. try to dig down for the mine? Do 
Now there's a risk if we dig down, we might hit the underground lake. So we... Yeah, with how yeah, the so... AI is, they would obviously, they would totally just end up throwing themselves into the lava unless we completely block it off. Yeah, hence why I said uh, just flatten the area, including removing the lava flow. Like, yeah, lava is useful, but maybe not freely in a colony. And... Did you just... Yeah, this is the... Uh... This is the lowest end of the dungeon that we, well, made our portal room into. Yeah, I just realized, there's a lot of redstone blocks here. Uh, a, lot of, yeah, a lot of red nether brick, nether wards, and yeah, redstone, which, well, we already have quite a bunch of that. It, uh, magma blocks. We could mine this out, and I probably should put something on the this side so I can open this up as well. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, and now, I'm, I would, I'm we should probably do here because apparently would, we, we should probably do something problem. about the lava. Uh, yeah, we could we could bucket that up and put it into the forges. For now, though, let's continue the hunt. Yeah, for sure, the lava looks nice in there, but at the same time, I know that with some random bad luck. Some mob find its way inside and just knock you into the lava. Oh, this is on a table. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was a show off of a skeleton. <laughs> he tried to assassin's creed us. Okay. Surprise! I Wait, what? didn't expect to find this, but. If you look on the mini-map, there's that big-ass area over there, and I have managed to break into that. Uh, actually, can we... No, we can't dig through this with that, but we can with this. And that's actually another underground dungeon-ish area, and... Well, it's a it's a very useful one, from what little I managed to get into it, because I was low on food and such. It's actually a foundry. Wait, this... Uh can't we technically just take over that as our own house? Yep. But the it would take quite a bit of work to clear it out because... Hello. Well... Let's break into the rafters. It might take a while to clear it out, but... It would be rather rewarding as well to do so. Okay, yeah, I think I'm in the rafters. Yep, I, I am in the rafters of this place. <laughs> What the heck? Yeah, yeah, I'd say this. Give it a chance, we can take that over with and have our, all our special rooms. And now we don't need to dig our own tunnels, we just use this. And we could probably expand the colony in this way as well, use all of that open space because these are very high ceilings. If I can get a good enough example. Yeah, that's. That's also a good idea. So that, that would, yeah, that would make town expansion easier. Since, and yeah, it would, it would be quite the ideal location for the forge. Definitely, I was to say that, that we could do the forge. And actually, I sort of wonder the arcane forge could be its own room of a bigger structure. I, I'm still working out a name for it. So far, like. The Artificer Hall. <laughs> okay. Or the Arcane Workshop. Uh, the problem is that there are quite a lot of spawners around the place, though. Yeah, watch out for the fire. Yeah, it's just uh, campfires. They don't can't actually hurt you, I believe. Three, two, one. Oh, he survived. What the heck? You... All right, you were not under... understating the, the, uh, this tallness of uh, ceilings or overstating it. Uh, let's see. Not, going to... not going to dig out okay. this terracotta because it might be something. And yeah, magma cubes spawn here as well. Okay, you have a super port that we can expand towards this direction. 
this will here, make then. this will make building the colony so much easier. Blazers. Wait, blazers? Don't we can I need them? Yep. We need them to get access to the oh, to the bed or to, to be able to smelt the better stuff oh, in the smeltery because what? But wait, that's not a that's a that's, that's... a boss one, it seems. Uh, oh, that one's up there. That's going to be a bit difficult to get rid of. I think we need a bit of uh book for this. Uh, yeah, we're going to need to light it. Oh, oh, but... oh <laughs> the barbarians got themselves killed on something. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, out. Okay, it can hurt you. Remove them! <laughs> and I just fell into a hole. Oh, well. Okay, yeah, we definitely expanded this direction. I, I kind of feel sad we didn't explore this a bit earlier, though. Earlier would have been a bit harder time to expand into it. Yeah. Um... But, yeah, expanding into that will make uh, building so much easier. Here again. Actually, let me just grab some buckets. There. This thing is so freaking useful with how we can just pull just about anything out of our ass. But of course, that also means that it is very. Uh, we do not want to lose that thing at all costs. Yeah, I guess that's expensive to make. Yeah. Um, I, also, I also upgraded the, my, the pickaxe that we had from bronze to amethyst bronze, which is surprisingly easy to make. And they're making the, the guard towers now. Uh, Wonderful. So be able to punch through here. Yep, without disturbing the redstone. And just fill that up. I'll okay. Work on uh, yeah. That later. I feel like, yeah, I think that probably today's mission will probably be taking over the foundry. Um, let's see. Yeah, the colony's active again. This is spreading over. It's good. Nice. Uh, let me put down a bit more of these little bridges. You have to speed it up? Uh, to ensure that it, it's going to continue on. Like, it won't... It, so that it can also spread from here to there. Ah. Uh, inside the house? Uh oh. Okay, now 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 I get ya. Now I get ya. It'll make it look a lot better because gra grass travels really slowly. And actually, I there is one way we could deal with that more easily, but we'd need something with silk touch. And I don't think we. Well, we have. I keep getting turned around because I keep <laughs> changing my mind. Or thinking back to where I put stuff. Uh, let's see. I've also upgraded all of our chests, or most of our chests at least, and sorted things out, brought everything over. Uh, armor and such, tools and weapons. Do we have another diamond pickaxe? Doesn't look like it, but we can make one. Or, uh, actually... Do I have one already in this? No, just diamonds. So let's pluck out three. Should be sticks here, yep. Then it's probably good to install a diamond pickaxe into that thing. <laughs> yep, then we don't have to keep pulling... Uh, we don't have to keep making them. That is... This thing is just extremely useful for that. We can basically... It, it's basically... Um, do you know, do you perhaps know the old nineteen twenties cartoon Felix the Cat? I only recently came to knowledge of him. 
uh, yeah, it, it, this thing is basically Felix's bag, is that we can basically pull out whatever the fuck we want with it. Now, let's see. Efficiency, efficiency, nope. But as far as I know, I don't think that cat aired in Sweden. Okay. Maybe the comics, but not the movie. Yeah, it, it, there wasn't there was a movie with him, but it was also shorts. Okay. Yeah, we we're going to want silk touch, pain uh, of illagers. I'm just choosing the. I'm just choosing the top ones to be sure that I don't waste too much of my experience on this. Still, again, on breaking. Soulbound, on breaking, on breaking. I don't know exactly what's with all of this here. I know you can yeah, change it some ways. I don't know. I keep forgetting that's only in mods or actually part of other Minecraft regularly. Now, this is modded, I think. Now, let's see. Soulbound, on breaking, on breaking. Is that going to stay the same? Plague bringer, smite. Three. Let's take that, actually. That's pretty strong. Wait. If it's modded. Wait. Does that make an enchant modded stuff with. Okay, now I'm curious what it would mean. Death Strider? What does that mean? Actually, we can look that up. Uh, Death Strider. Increases movement speed while underwater. Okay. That's very useful. Or that is going to be very useful when we get to more aquatic areas. Oh, yeah. We didn't need a diving helmet. Again, only those. What I'm looking for... No, I already said what I'm looking for. We're looking for Silk Touch with this. That way we can actually get our hands onto a, an intact spawner. Because apparently, as far as I can tell, we can't actually... Ooh, flame is nice for a bow. We can't actually make spawners. Come on, what is what all these efficiency ones? Hmm... Piercing, quick draw, curse of breaking. Just picking that to get rid of it and refresh this. Hmm. Okay, now. Do we have something wrong that it's not giving us any silk touch? I'm using. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> it sounds more like a, a curse thing. Efficiency. Nature's mend. I've Let's see. Silk touch. <laughs> Allows fragile blocks to be, uh, such as glass, to be collected. Silk touch shrine upgrades. Silk touch unit. Allows all mine blocks to drop as themselves. This is part of mechanism. Um, I think I read a bit about this. Mechanism has something new called a universal tool or something. And I believe with these things you can... Upgrade it. Uh, okay. Gadgets. I'm going to take a guess that we actually need. No, we don't need a book of it. Uh, let's see. Hmm. We should probably look into this mining gadget stuff eventually, though. We're definitely going to be looking into mechanism because that is a lot. That's going to be very useful for multiplying our mining yields. Because it can... At the... At the last stage of it, you can... Uh, you can get six ingots out of one ore. But it would require quite a bit of processing to get it there in the first place. I'm already concerned if that is going to be those ugly giant builds. It's silk touch, very rare. Oh, only a four percent chance. Okay, that explains it. Hmm. Yeah, it makes sense why it's rare, though. You can still find it on items from treasure chests. True, and I believe villagers might have it as well. And now we're now we don't have enough experience left. Okay. Actually, you become a are, noob again. These have EMC, so we could throw them into the. We could throw them into the transmutation tablets, or at least once we actually want. 
So I, I'd probably suggest against it since, let's be honest, I'm going to be surprised if there's a mo uh, one of the mod items require a book of specific enchantment to work. True, but we could pull it out of the tablet again then. Yeah, so I'm just see about all the little stuff that we have left. I moved the magic stuff in here. This is have you been working room. your spells? Uh, yeah, we... Let's be... Where is it? Where's the spell book? Or do you like put it in here? It's, wait, where is it? I'm not seeing it. Hmm. Okay, let's do this to make it easier to find. Rs, double click to make it look. Okay, not there. Most of this is that, of course. This one, there it is, right in the freaking corner. Uh, we've upgraded it to the second stage, which is a major spell book, which, well, as it says, can cast tier 2 glyphs or lower. And we've also unlocked a few extras, like I believe Extract and Amplify. Explosion? Uh, explosion. Though I Do haven't managed to find, you know, how, figure out how to really get them to work, because they don't actually seem to work as much as we wanted well, to, at least. Yeah, I think we need to unlock AUA for it. Yeah, so let's... Uh, for AOE... We act, we need a fireworks star, but I, be, I don't know how to get those, and it doesn't give uh, a recipe, I think. Firework star... Yeah, it doesn't give a recipe. Wait, so it has a recipe. We... This is unmaking it. Yeah, we need a... F oh, wait, we do have those. I think... Oh, yeah, we... I think the issue was... We had trouble of uh, making that thing outside the boat, making it. Uh, how do you mean? Also, we make this for... Enchantment yeah, stuff? I think you were supposed to put plaques on it or... Wait. All right, damn. We... we uh, Aren't we supposed to throw them at the table? Yeah, we, we're supposed to throw the stuff at the table to have it accept them. Or, what we also found out, it, it, if it's inside of a chest nearby, it will get drawn out of it. Uh, this little thing here is because of all of the evil craft stuff that we have here. And the reason we got into that was these things. They like cleaning, all right? Rooms that can fly around. So yeah, these have been extremely useful in exploring. I and can't bet together. it has. <laughs> Even though it and sounds a bit comical, you flying on a broom. Yeah. Uh, they do require a fuel source, which is blood. Uh, luckily, though, we can get that easily enough with a sort of syringe that you can uh, that you need to make or uh, can yes. make something just we... dawned on me mm -hmm. we have vampiric brooms these the blood extractors uh, i have two of this one which is exactly same uh, design because of the duplication stuff and yeah, I'll go into it. Uh, I also have this thing I'll carry around just to have something to put the blood into and then put it into the broom. Because otherwise I'd have to go all the way back to here to refuel them. Oh, unable to create backup. Okay. It has been having that every now and then. Uh, yeah, these brooms, they have stats. Oop. I saw that little green thing there. We still haven't figured out how exactly this little dumbass... Well, it should be gathering stuff in here but it, and then put it into storage, but it's not done that at all. Unless I'm forgetting something. I they something keep telling it. you to watch a video about it. Yeah. <laughs> Changed up the farm. May turn this into just potatoes and carrots for healing the, the villagers since they can get sick after a certain point. And yeah, I let the cows out just to see if that would help with the stupid... Uh, 
drag me. Yeah, drag me is the word. Source, source needed. Okay, it could be. All oh, right, that's probably the problem. You, you haven't given it a battery. It has been. It has been doing something at that level. I think they're yeah, trying, they just here. can't work due to your missing the damn important source. Now, let's fix that right away then by digging this thing up. Uh, this is an agro uh, agronomic source link. Basically, this will capture source from the area when there is stuff around it growing, like, say, our, so our magic plants. And this is a source jar, which is, well, it's a, <laughs> it's a storage container for it. And I hear a zombie. Is we're sitting in here? Nope. You are. You're trying to get in, but you're not. Okay. Uh, there's the jar. Great yam, great yam, great yam. <clears throat> like that Pardon? did not. You've been pardoned. Uh, I, yeah, I put up higher walls to protect the animals. So... That, yeah, that destroyed something. Oh, well. Okay. Let's put this over here. Put that on top. That should be gathering... Okay, there we go. Now it's feeding source into this thing. And it is getting source from the animals. Or, at the very least, from when this is starting to go, grow further. So we might as well harvest it. Hopefully this means it will work now. Yeah. And maybe we should put the, the cows back into their pen after this then. Uh, yeah, though, again, as I said, it was recommended by, by in a 10 by 10 fence. Well, this is plenty of space for that, at least. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's drawing stuff from the animals. Oh, now, yeah. now it's properly charged. Yeah, that took 20... This was 27% full earlier. So that took about 25%-ish. Yeah, now, now I think it's going to just be that... Since we only have one, it's going to be slow. True. All of the wheat seed is in there. Okay, basically what it is doing, it is getting, or it should be getting leather and meat and such from the, the <clears throat> from the animals without actually harming them. And this is a little something I set up because I saw something online about it, not, uh, but it's not actually working. What, what did, the idea with this is that these observer blocks, which, well, observe something before them, uh, once they, once the plant here finishes growing, it should activate the pistons to break the blocks and dump them into this chest here, but obviously that's not been happening, so I'll just need to look into that. And, yeah, nether warts. We already saw the alchemy stand earlier, so I might as well... I got some seeds. Oh, well, I can throw that into the tablets. And yeah, just make some bread. And then from bread to toast. Yep. There we go. Plenty of food for now. Actually, the spare can go away. So we keep our. Yeah, when I press this, when you press sort, when you have this, the tablet open, it'll actually try to use up as much as of the EMC as it can. So not a good idea to do that. Um, oh dear! And now I want toast. I guess. I'm actually Obviously supposed to make some food soon, so I guess I just. Do some uh, sausages and toast in the air fryer. All right. I tried uh, it once too far, and it was rather well. Okay. 
Um, not all things have EMC value, so you can't just get everything, but it is very easy, or very useful at least, to have, uh, yeah, you have the tablets. I don't know what we can actually... Where are some glowberries? The glowberries are supposed to be good for something. We could uh, see if we can start our glowberry farm. That way you should get a lot of EMC. It won't actually take them. Okay. And we already get quite a, you know, a bit of a bioluminescent rail. Okay. What? Hmm. But, okay, it sounds practical, just unexpected. Uh, let's see, is there anything? No, not here. Okay, so we can't actually use them in the brewing stands. So, yeah, I don't know what use they are then. But they do glow and work as torches if you plant them. Okay. Uh, this here is from farming for blockheads. Basically, it allows for easier cooking. I just blockheads. To... Yeah, we just need to get power connected to this thing. And some people might have recognized a thing that we passed by earlier, in down in the colony. And well, this also essence of undead. What? How did we pick that up? Probably from the chest or something. But it, basically. With this, you can easily cook things from this uh, cooking table. Uh, it's a multi-block structure with these connecting everything. Uh, but yeah, this provides water. This is just storage. Here we would be able to store some uh, cooking implements and such. I haven't gotten those yet. So at the moment, we can only really, well, cook things. Oh dear. And be right back. Just gonna prepare the food for the machine. So, yeah. The usual, you know, don't die. I'll or try. get turned to stone. Or get eaten. Okay, let's get rid of all of these eggs because they're taking up a freaking lot of space. Might as well get those gone. And just get rid of some stuff in. What is this? Let's see. Kill on that mobs. This is a rare chance to drop graves dust and a rarer chance to drop essence of undeath. And that's that. What is it used for then? Let's see. Simple grave. Okay, decorate graves are used for praying with an ankh and are sometimes haunted by souls allowing the practice of magic. Okay. Original grave, cross grave. I, I have touched upon this before, I believe, in the previous All the Mods uh, version, number six. But if I get specifically what we uh, can get out of that. So I guess we'll just have to make a graveyard <laughs> and find out. Let's see, white marble, dark marble. Hmm. Let's see, white marble is made with graves dust, stone, and bone meal. Okay. We should have a bunch of that. We get we can get plenty of bone meal and such out of everything else. Out of the equivalent exchange stuff. Where did I leave that grave dust then? There it is. Okay. Then some bones. And stone we can get out of this. Okay. Stone. And actually, we only really need to make one of these. So, actually, we... Hmm. I'll have to check. Does it have EMC work value? No, it does not. Okay. And an achievement, black or white. And we got a reward from that. So, I, I find it annoying that these things don't tell you what they give you. Okay, let's have a look. White marble walls, original grave. Is there anything else that we can make out of these? Let's see. Let's let's go for this tombstone. 
Or was there something out? Let's see. Original grave, cross grave, black version as well. Subaraki's grave. I think this is... I can't really tell with how zoomed out it, with how small it looks, but it looks like one of those uh, Japanese graves. And that's about it then. Okay, let's just make... Uh, I might as well go with original grave. So one more of these. And just get a bunch of stone. Easy enough to get, easy enough to put back in. There, there, and there. One, two, three, four. And with this, and there. Okay. Actually, let's have a look with this. Or, no, this is just a tutorial on how to get stuff again. Blood some party police, open up! Do you have suspicion someone's working on necromancy in there, on the ship? Oh, knowledge of death, Yes, I'm back, please. people. Welcome back. Let's see, small Since I did not make Helia laugh. Okay, this this is from this is stuff for when we die and such, uh, or not not just when we die. Ninety percent chance to find special drops on the undead. I have put some stuff in here. Experience retained on death, nice. Potion duration reduces the casting time with magic item and prevents damage from interrupting. Disenchanter. Ooh. Ghostly shape feather improves the effect received on death when we are making a ghost run for our body and stuff. 20% chance to receive an enchanted key. Uh, not sure what use that would be. 10% chance to find rare uh, structures instead of villages. Then discretion. I believe this is just for stealth, with uh, mobs being less able to see you or detect you. Uh, so we put some of this in Treasure Seeker, because we have explored quite an area already. Uh, yeah, we found many villages already as well. Yeah, uh, not caves. I, I can't even zoom out any further than this. And yeah. Uh, I just realized... Quite a distance. Okay, there's the ocean. And I think we are actually near an ocean. Uh, you know, at our village. Yes, something I spotted. What is this? Magma blocks. Okay, that's just oh, exposed stuff. There's a village here, and yeah, we have we don't we could look further in this direction. This could be ocean. There is yeah, over and here. It seems our we have a lake connected to the ocean. Um, yeah. If you actually, uh, this one does not connect to the ocean. It runs into dead ends at every point. Well, actually, no, we'd have to dig through this for it to actually connect. Uh, but is it's almost connecting. It, it's teasefully connecting, almost. Yep, not that. I just wanted to harvest that. Another one of these. Done. I should find a way to automate these. For now, though, um, on the water. Yep, there we go. Took a moment. The reason I put down this waystone here is not just because of that, but because of that. I don't know if this is a full temple. And what are they fighting? Are they fighting each other? I'm oh, sure. Oh, I think they're fighting the dolphins. Uh, yeah. This. If this is a. If this is enough of an underwater temple, then we might be able to get sponges and such from that to help with cleaning out flooded areas. If not only that, Helen, we might find sea lanterns as well. Uh, we already see them there. The problem is that we don't have much stuff for underwater combat at the moment. Wait, it's all those... Those blueberries? Yep. It, it looks damn pretty, I have to say that. 
actually, let's take the broom and and let's see if that's that's <laughs> that is a lot of stuff loading in, causing it to slow down. Okay, at the at the lower right corner, we can see how much uh, fuel we still have in this broom. I haven't gone in this direction yet, and oh, this is one of these. Oh, I I heard guardians hmm? there. I heard their attack. It looks like there's several guardian things in the water. Oh, I see. No, that looks like a, a like coral reef there. I think I can hear it coming from this direction. Uh, there's one. So that must mean that there is something nearby as well. Hmm. Unless they spawn more widely in the area? Not to my knowledge, which the, the, well, is very limited. Yeah, I can say this. This is. I don't think this is a normal biome in Minecraft. Yeah, this is one of the many modded ones. And let's have a look here. We've seen multiple of these before. And okay, that's a odd little plant here. Nippa. From our Forbidden and Arcanus. Yeah, that, that one looks special for the way the trees grew and that was in the center. I think that's important. Let's see, it can be combusted, composted. Okay. Hmm. Okay, for, I thought I saw something over there, but no, it's just uh, some water behind the caves or the rocks. Wait, wait! That's a mush bush! Hmm? The, 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 the... Do you see the, that? Take those! Take those! You want those! Okay. Uh, yeah, the, it, this, the it, it is duplicated. If we use those, basically we can instantly turn our town halls brown dirt into moss instantly. And okay. we, if we grow special stuff for it. Oh, hello there. Might as well grab a few of them. Hey, I hope you can pick those up. Uh, we have them. As Azalea? I, I've heard of those before, I think. Nice. Or at least in real life. Not in Minecraft, though. Uh, they, they are new. They are actually new. Okay, they came in the cave update, I think. Or oh, one of the cave updates. There's one of those defender things again. Still haven't figured out what, exactly what their deal is. I I think they're supposed to reflect damage back on you or something. What is that structure? I think that's an Illager Tower. Uh, I don't think it is, for it's the wrong color. Never mind. I was wrong. <laughs> yeah, I, I think they... at one point they got upgraded to um, use regional materials for their towers. Uh, it would make sense. There's another one of those. What is the point with these? Is it just to keep those little flowers? Or whatever they are needed for? Possibly. Let's actually park in this. Another nipper. Yeah, I feel like we have a lot of research to do. Yeah. Uh, what and what is this area already. called? Uh, let's see. Lush Stacks region. Okay. Lush Stacks region? What? Yeah. Uh, Stone stacks and such. Oh, so these calls are all st called stone stacks? Okay, okay, then I guess it makes sense. I expected uh, a bit more different name, because you know how many pointy rocks there are and... Um... What? These are drip leaves. I've heard of these. Uh, the big ones, if you stand on top of the... If you stop on top 
stand on top of the lily pads. Uh, actually, I might as well show it. Hello, this looks interesting. That doesn't look like the normal water. Give me a second. Just collect some. And we should probably put that down somewhere. Let's see. What are you? Okay, you are just water. Looks a bit clearer, but that's probably actually... Oh, hello, what's over there? Might that's be from the region. Yeah, might be the biome. Anyway. Just stand on top of these and they will tip over and throw you off of them. People have been using those to make secret entrances to bases and such from what I've heard. Okay. And let's have a... Is there anything in the game like a spike? Actually, I think, yes, there is a spyglass thing. Have we had any of those? No. Okay, then if we had, we could have seen, taken a look at what the hell that is over there. And didn't yeah. I have the broom in my hand earlier? We should probably put the uh, spyglass to, on to-do list, but that sounds very useful. Okay, what is this little thing here? No, oh, it's just a, it's just a, a small rock sticking out. Okay, continuing on. Is that lava? Yep. Where the heck is that pouring from? That's the random spot where it spawned into rock. Okay, but that that just looked so out of place. I spy with my little eye another ship for us to conquer eventually. Let's not get too close. Let's just start. Oh, more guardians nearby. Oh, dear. I, I just had a random mad idea. Hmm? Imagine turning one of those orcs into a nether portal. <laughs> that would be something. I, I know you can make bigger portals, but I don't know what the maximum size is supposed to be. Unless it's a for mod, you could make them very big. Big enough to fit our damn uh, stone ship that you live in. Okay, let's grab some of that. And yeah, the brood uh, that, that we're using right now, I, I basically made the parts of it to be as speedy as possible. And this is another abandoned colony, it looks like. Looks very nice. Okay, I, I don't know what causes this with it just being scattered like that. Oh, it's it's close to the Bumpkin Bumpkin <laughs> village that we found as well. So I probably already have a, a tag around here somewhere. Yeah, I kind of wonder, can you have can you move colonies? I don't think you can move them, but you can have multiple. I think. Huh. I guess we have to find a much better colony before we upgrade our current one too much. This one could be a good one, possibly. Okay, why are you... Oh, I think I know why it's just sticking around in the air. Uh, first, let me just put stuff away. Yep, gonna check with my food. I think if you don't have a free slot on, on your ta on your well, bar... I... Actually, let's double check that. Yeah, if, if you have an open spot... It'll just put the broom in there. Otherwise, it'll keep hanging in the ground. Or not the ground, in the air. <laughs> okay, uh, let me double check if there is a mark here. Show all. Okay, apparently not. Hide all and just new one. Dead colony. My, for some, why does it keep skipping the first letter sometimes? Okay, we could probably try to... Maybe we could try to start up extra colonies in other places where we don't have to build, well, everything. We probably still have to build extra stuff, like uh, farms and such, to keep them stable. Oh, llamas. Uh, do I have... Yes, I have the quantum catcher with it. 
Uh, this is basically like a Pokeball for Minecraft, and currently it has a Blaze in it because I was, well, trying to get Blaze blood for forging. But that didn't work out yet, so I'll just put that away so I don't accidentally unleash it on the forest. Hmm. Is this high enough, perhaps? This is... Okay, is this high... Hmm. It's the wrong biome, though. Uh, there is one There's one material that we're also looking for called Aldemaldium, which is, well, a, speci a special ore that they made just for the mod packs. Uh, but that only appears in mountain biomes, and this doesn't count as a mountain biome, I'm pretty sure. The snowy plains. If we had a nature compass with us, we could double check if it is or not. Oh, we have a compass with us. Okay. Nature compass, this can point you towards biomes. So, plains, snowy plains, category icy. Not category mountain, though. So, this does not count as a mountain. So, Aldemadium would not spawn here because it spawns mostly above uh, Y level 170. And what have we here? I see movement. Oh, it's another one of these. Okay. Hmm. Game is being a bit slow because it's loading in more areas again. And wait. Okay, now it put it in the inventory. I, I, I'm not getting. I'm missing something. I'm not missing these though. So let's just loot a bit, and then we move on. Bread, that, 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 that. Oh, sage seeds can be. Okay. Stone. Um, paper, emeralds, buckets. For some reason, a nature compass can also go in there. Uh, that'll be enough for now. Just grab the rest, even if we might just throw it into the tablet as well. Sweet berries, there are some recipes with that, I believe. I mean, should have to I should look up how to actually farm those. Probably just by planting them. Planting the berries. And this is another dead colony. Welcome back. Yeah, I said have my headphones also can hear you. And yeah, I say depending on situation. Like we could change a main uh, colony, like the current one's issue is well, it's a lot of uh, upward digging to give room, but once we call it a foundry, that problem is solved. Hopefully, we sh yeah, hopefully. <laughs> However, a, a flat area like this would make it easier to make a well, pirate town. Yep, let's see. No, there is only is there a problem of defending it for snowy plains? Nope. The it's the ben other benefit with the K one we have is, well, we just block off the tunnels. Simple enough. But one on the surface, we will need to build a lot of walls around the colony. And let's, let's face it, building walls around a colony is. Um, Gonna take a damn long time. Yeah, and just finding intruders. So one of the reasons that I we are looking for get here, you that we're looking for uh, all the modium is so that we can make a digging uh, robot, and that did not give us a rabbit's foot. Yeah, I think it's a chance to give them. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Uh, the reason I'm looking for a rabbit's foot, oh hello, is that uh, they're needed for making slime boots now. And slime boots would be very useful in preventing fall damage, like at all. 
It would cause us to bounce around a bunch, but at least it will keep us safe from uh, yeah, falling into stuff. Now, if this works the same as normal temples, there should be loot at the bottom of this. Yep. There should also be something else. So let's just Sometimes be careful. Boom. Yep. <laughs> These temples are booby trapped. Yeah, it's one of the... Really? Really? Just bring a lot of blood you... leak. One hour off the start of the stream, you always okay. broke a second leak? Okay, that opened some... That... Okay, I was expecting there to be TNT under that, not magma blocks. Redstone, what? What are these doing here? I'll take... Are these supposed to melt the... I... Oh, I think I see what's supposed to happen with this trap. It's... It would activate those lamps, which would melt the ice around them, which, well, would flood the area below and force you into the magma blocks because those drag the... Ba which drag... Because those drag you down. Or they okay. cause the water to drag you down. Okay, that is clever. And I expect that people are, oh, they're gonna think it's gonna be TNT. They're gonna prove them wrong. Meantime, ooh, hello. Didn't expect you here. What? <laughs> I found a buried treasure. What's that? Programming puzzle piece. Use private programmer when writing programs to a drone or network. Either keep these pieces in your inventory or put them in the inventory. What? Okay. That sounds far too complex for me to understand. So let's just throw some stuff into here. White carpets. Charcoal. Lava bucket. Book. And we can keep the cobalt because we can build our way out with that. Repeater. Another loot chest just randomly in the walls. <laughs> Even more stuff in them. Spawn agitator. We've seen some of those before. And we didn't loot this one. Not a jigsaw. Okay. Uh, let's move some stuff back into here. Put that there, put that there. And the rest can go into this one. Mm -hmm. Sausage and toast. Well, bradwurst and toast in this easy. case. Granite, dirt, coal, coal. Uh, I'm just grabbing stuff to throw into the uh, tablet to make space. Almost did that again, where I sorted out this, which would empty it out. Okay. We can't put those in here. Might as well grab you. Charm of sinking. The wearer can move freely in water. Okay. Where in the stone pen? Magic tablet, what? Oh, here. Enchanted tablet of home. Allows you to teleport to your reap spawn point. Okay. That is going to be useful. very useful. Yeah, especially since... Um... Oh, wait, respawn point. And the oh yeah, that's even better. Got activated. Yeah, that that is what it would have happened all around. It seems. Hmm. Okay, let's just mine these to disable the trap. Plus, we can, we use can these also to make lava. Yeah, that too, and other things. I I could see that as a. Uh... 
A way of protecting the walls. <laughs> Siege ladders denied. And warp uh, scrolls. Okay. Use while sneaking to set a location. I have heard of those. I think with them you can teleport back and forth between... You know, basically, it's a home scroll, allowing you to go back to your respawn point and then teleport back to where you Ooh. originally respawned from. I've not seen those in a while, that. As I think about it, I think I've only seen them in Diablo. Yeah, they're in most of those uh, those kinds of uh, top-down dungeon crawler games. Oh, all right. I did not know that. Okay, just get rid of most of this. Anything else we can throw into the EMC? Looting 3, that is quite nice, I believe. Air Affinity removes the mining speed penalty when not on the ground. Oh, that's that's in the air, not underwater, which would be more useful. Scavenger 3, mobs killed may roll their loot tables twice. Not sure Wait, what? specifically what that would be for. Uh, tough, some string. That, some of this, some of that. Okay, that should be most of the stuff that we can put into the tablet to make some space. Okay. Uh, let's continue here. There's another one of you over there. Yeah, th these, these looter chests really fill up your inventory really quick. Observer. Yeah. At least we have a backpack. Actually, you have multiple backpacks, and this is a thorn pendant. I think we saw one of those before. Yep, no, not that. This. Okay. And um, yeah, let's just grab some of these. Actually, we should be able to make those normal for ourselves. And it's nice to just get them for some more fuel. Also, I'm not sure if I, we... I don't think we had this before as well, but this magnet... Well, it, it's an item magnet. Most games are pretty obvious with what those do. They pull items towards you. And, hello. I mistook that for boomerang. <laughs> no. Okay, let's get out of here. And up, up, and away. Now then, uh, where to next? One thing, one thing that sort of annoys me with this map is that it doesn't automatically focus on you. Maybe that is an option somewhere to activate that, but I haven't seen it. Uh, let's see. Let's head north to whatever that biome is. That's a big-ass cave opening. Very and, big! Uh, also with Ars Nouveau, uh, there are different kinds of these trees. The uh, archwoods. We have the blazing here. We have the uh, purple it. one here. Now, we already you... have them. I oh, alright. I've already got uh, saplings for all four kinds of them. So we had blazing, we had vexing, we have cascading, and there is another one that is green. I'm I know I put down two of those trees next behind Gavin's place. Uh, oh, those are camo uh, creepers. Yes. <laughs> what is this here? Just a waypoint thing. Yeah, it's just a well, I think. Did Moving I... on. Uh, all right. Don't take a proper look, then. 
Yeah, it's like those wooden ones that we found before. There's, I don't believe there is anything with them. Maybe there might, could be something hidden underneath. One of these towers again. Is that supposed to be a logo or something? Oh, sure. Okay. Map again. Where are we? What is that area? Skyrus Vale region. Okay, and this is autumn, autumnal forest. Oh, there's a village over there. Or is this a colony? No, this looks like a village. One of those evil craft towers nearby. Uh, what these are for is that you can s steal, uh, you can make a recording of a, a biome uh, and its weather and transplant that to other locations. All right. I'm not entirely sure how or what would be a real benefit of that. Maybe. Hmm. No, it, it shouldn't Maybe... change spawn things. Maybe it would be more the weather stuff. It might be used to, uh, like, you have a nice space, but you want a different uh, biome. So instead of moving the base to a new biome, you bring the biome to the base. Sure, but it shouldn't change the biome, I think. Let's see. Another random word. <laughs> Generations. Uh, I mean, you can suffocate yourself if you fly into stuff. And here's yet another of these. Let's see. What time is it? We are at ten past four. So we still have a, most of an hour. Is there always supposed to pick them up or always supposed to do something else with them? Yeah, we... Okay, we can make arcane crystal dust with these. That is used for Oriole Bottle, Arcane Bone Meal. Okay, Purifying Soap. Ooh. Uh, arcane Bone Meal is, I think it's good for uh, go uh, Arcane Farming and such, like uh, when you grow Maid's Wave and Source Berries and such. Sanity Meter. Hmm. Sanity Meter. Corrupted Pixie. Crit could Forbidden hey. and Arcanus be the more... The more recent version of stuff like Thorncraft, because I, I quite like Thorncraft as a mod. Dragon escape. Um, all right. The Dragon Familiar is not of ours mod. Uh, which of the mods does the Dragon Familiar? Uh, it is one of the spell effects with ours. Yeah, um, but I think it, it, it's here. Summon Dragon Familiar. It's a, no, that's Occultism. Uh, okay, there's no Dragon Item, but it is a Glyph that we can get. I believe... Hmm. Familiar. Familiar Sickness. Whirly Sprig. Bookworm. Hmm. Yeah, it was a Glyph. These are... Hmm. We'll have to look into that when we get back. For now, we have another another village here. Okay. And what the hell is that? The purple. Is that an illager camp? I should probably put some of this away again. Uh, diamond, emeralds. Anything with you no know, tinker station we're keeping ice, blue ice, iron armor, golden apple, rotten flesh, gunpowder, observer. Basically throw everything with EMC in it out. Okay. Raymerit, that's a much more pronounceable name. Definitely. And now let's see what all this purple stuff is. 
Yep, it's an elixir camp right next to her village. <laughs> well, I think you know what that means. That, that this place is under occupation. Yep, and free wool. Uh, ooh, they've got quite a bunch of chests. And I thought I had a shield, ooh. but apparently not. Because also free loot! Well, okay, maybe not free, since we got, need to work for... How many... Oh. There's a bunch. <laughs> oh, and I think I saw a conjurer just there. Oh, yeah, we are running away from this. My armor is good, but we are getting slowed down because of all this stuff loading around us as well. And hello. What's yeah, maybe easier to fight it when it's not loading. Uh, where are we now? Over here we are. Okay. Let's make it one. Villager camp. And what is this? Is this is a village of sorts, from the looks of it. I'm not seeing any... What is this? Hexer. Chandelier! Wait, Hexery? This is one of, that's one of the magic mods. Hello. Well, it, it would make sense that there be <laughs> witches in Hexery area. We found one of we found one of these hexery things before, uh, a witch's hut. I'll be taking that and this. Well, looks like they have a new things for the ship. <laughs> okay, book of shadows altar. Uh, let me just grab an axe because I don't want to break these. We can use these to get a. a a quick start on this if we ever decide to use it we're ever going Wait. deeper into this mod Wait, hold on you didn't want to break it you, you hit it with an axe and we still got it because it it, it was an, a note yeah. when it says no tool needed in the upper left over there then anything can break you used to break it still you so you didn't want to break it, yet you use a axe on a wooden table. Oh, these are these are laying item frames. That's a pestle and mortar. I think we can actually cook with those, so I'm bringing one of those as well. Yes, put as much stuff in there. Let's see. No, oh, these are for hack. That's for hexery. Herb jar. Another one of these. Sage. Lanterns are always nice to have. Okay, so basically we found a sort of witch's village. I'll be taking that as well. Chains are just nice to have as well. Black candles. Okay. Oop. Yeah, I, sh I should... I should make something for ranged combat because we <laughs> we only have our sword and hello. Wait, you left the book behind again? No, we I have that in we have that in the inventory, but it's it's only like a blast. We I mean something more like a bow or something. Well, we can make uh, wands that help us uh, do more uh, attack damage with spells sure. that actually work uh, like a. Uh, Weapon. I should maybe make probably... another backpack just to have more space again. Yeah, you're probably gonna need that. We should probably also investigate what other weaponry we can make that could be practical. Like, so it is me you would love to have a magic scepter or a pirate pistol. Yep, and we know that there, I found out that there's freaking mini guns in this game as well. Uh, mini gun. Yep, it would probably be quite a bit of work to get one of those, though. Likely, but also could be useful for some scenarios, but also probably a bit too p. 
Let's see. Did I pick... Yes, there it is. Mixing cauldron. <laughs> we Just completely loot everything from these witches. Well... Hilaire, I think you forget something. Hmm? Pirates? Yeah. It's kind of in our nature to rob. But you're a pirate. I'm the Viking. I'll be taking this because uh, these these bells are worth a hell of a lot. Okay, I just said I also but also probably some people's eyes adorable idea. I think I can guess a few would call it adorable. <laughs> Viking kobold. <laughs> yeah, that would be adorable. Yeah, and by kobold I mean the dra Dungeon of Dragons variants, the tiny dragon people. Okay, there is something to our left that looks interesting. A tower. And I hear another witch. <laughs> I think someone's getting cocky. I think they're about to do an epic ambush. Oh, she also haven't noticed you in here yet. Well, now she has. Taking this. And this. <laughs> It probably we probably don't need multiples, but it's just it'll just be nice to have them. Yeah, like if we make uh, yeah, in case we make several bases or just want some for decorations. Yep. So uh, let's be honest. With the name so we named a arcane workshop. It's probably not gonna be a small room. It's gonna probably be a few rooms dedicated to. Arcane Forge, Artifice's Room, Enchanted Library. And this goes on. Yep. Okay, we have more space again. And well, we can decorate the place with these candelabras. Candelabras. I don't, I don't really care about how it's pronounced. I, I, I'm familiar with chandeliers, but... Oh, there's a lot of these. I think this is supposed to be either the a uh, shop Stop. or a bar. I don't think I'd want to know what uh, witches get drunk of. Yeah, I was to say uh, the same. Actually, <laughs> I am would be very concerned. No, oh, and that's the pickaxe broken. Well, we still have the hammer. Well done. And we can repair it. Oh, the heck? Okay. I'll be taking that as well. I, I, this is quite nice, actually. It's a, it's a closet made with trap doors. Very nice, I say. Yep. I feel like we could probably replicate that if we want for some things. Yeah. Uh, actually, wouldn't that be a good way to make storage look nicer? Like you have four chests inside one of those? I could. I know that some people make bases out of trapdoors because it takes they take up a lot less space like this, giving you more room uh, for standing in as long as someone doesn't, well, open them, <laughs> open them up on you. Of course. Okay. I believe that's every of the every one of these huts. So let's take flight. And there, that is what I was looking at. The heck is this? Another brother. It's your border. favorite thing, Hillian. A tower. No, actually it's a lighthouse, I think. Wait. Yeah, the lighthouse. Wait, let's wait, hold up, hold up. Let, let's take a look at the map. Oh, I could zoom out further? Okay. Uh, yeah, we're kind of nowhere near ocean. There's swamp here. 
Yeah, on the ocean is on the side of on this land part, but still it's a, a bit far away still. Yeah. Uh, item frames, I'm bringing those along so we can make them. So, witch's boots, okay. Work in progress, armor set, okay. So that would have extra benefits eventually. Wait, an uh, unfinished item? Yeah, some of these mods are still in progress, works in progress. Okay. Really, just normal stone. Gone. Okay. Let's check this place out. It's probably going to be monsters spawning in the bottom. Or, oh, hello, hello. note blocks. I'll take you. They all had the same notes. Something up with those. A lot of books. And since it's night, might as well pass the night in a bed. It seems like it's more of a helpful structure, actually. Have you ever heard of an unhelpful lighthouse? No, oh, I believe there are a few in Cthulhu stuff. <laughs> then again, any, you could taken, but... put Cthulhu with anything and make it bad. <laughs> True, but I think mean, you get what I mean. Like, lighthouse is meant to prevent ships from crashing, and hello, nice house and nice field. Yeah, uh, it's one. It's another one of these Gavin's houses, I think. Or no, this is one of the abandoned ones. Okay. Brock, it looks like it could be place. a good outpost for us. Yeah, it would be an easy spot to put down a. <clears throat> to put down a. A waystone at. Speaking of, we didn't actually bring yeah. one with us, but they they are stored in the tablet, so we can just make one. Oh dear! Uh, was that a witch village or whatever? I think that I think that might be another witch village. Another one. Ah, uh, I. I hope there's a mod allow that I I know there's some mods that allows you to befriend kobolds in Minecraft, and as it is, if if you able you able to tame a kobold and name it after me, do you spring me for raiding witches <laughs> and <you>. everything else? <laughs> I think I just that just... a... hmm? there's a witch in there. Uh, Oh, but... <laughs> okay. <laughs> behind. Where the hell did you? They jumped out the window for that, I think. Okay, she did what the skeleton failed. Cauldron. Mm, toast. Yep. We need to repair that. Still, actually, we might as well just put it away for the moment. Oh yeah, we should probably also investigate which one of these uh, things that makes the chest that repairs everything for free. Oh, another one of these. Uh, yeah, there is something like in you said there was something like that. Oh, hello, in uh, Evil Craft. Yep, I think it was Evil Craft. Which is robe plus eight armor. That's quite a bit actually. That is. Yeah, the same as my Osmium chest plate. <laughs> okay. Those are some durable robes. And... Blood sigil. Okay. We have enough of those, I think. All right. Let's continue raiding then. You know what? Maybe we should teleport back with current loot. Just to make it easier to raid the rest. Yeah, just going... Actually... Oh. 
Bye. Just going to run back to this place, and then we'll set down a wa uh, a, a waystone in here, just in case those. Uh, Warp scrolls don't work as I think they do. Waystone. Pretty expensive. But if you just keep feeding stuff into it, it'll uh, yeah, be easy enough. There. Note block. Not blocks. Blocks. <laughs> okay. Put you here. And then we can test out one of... Where are they? Uh, there they are. Warp scroll. Okay. What does it say again? Sneak to set a location. Okay. And yeah, this one is recorded now. So... Actually, no. They, I, I think that's going to warp us... Yeah, this warps us back to where we used it. Okay. Can we record a new area? Mm. Yes, we can. O okay. Still useful. Yeah. Uh, next page. Back to the Hildrick. But... Uh, what just happened? Oh. Uh, I think they're, w they're one use only. It, the, wait, since we had two of them... Put another one in us in our hands. Okay, so useful for quick getaways, I guess. But beyond that, uh, not too much. Yeah, probably something like if you you wanna escape a dungeon or something. Yeah, going to need to upgrade this chest. Actually, can do that right now. Golds. Yeah. Wait, I thought I had an upgrade of that in. Uh, iron. Iron chest upgrades. Hmm. I thought I put in one of the upgrades for that. Uh, ain't that one well. of those down there? One down. Uh, you, I think you missed it. Now we have gold oh. chest, gold apple, blaze gold, gold, blaze gold, blaze gold. There's oh. no other ones here. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Uh, still just going to grab two of these and just dump all of the stuff that we picked up in the in here. I can sort this out off stream as to what is actually useful and what is not. There. Yeah, at this rate, I feel like we should build our own skyship, just to have a bit more space and, well, own personal flair to say. Good, yeah. Uh, there are supposed we talked about this earlier, but there are supposed to be skyships that spawn um, in the overworld. Uh, I know I ran into those into a previous map that I made on this, or as a test. But I haven't found... We haven't found any of those. So it could be that they're partially seat dependent. Oh, we're not putting that away. Uh, seat dependent or rare. Yeah. Also, does a Minecraft map have a max limit in size? Uh, there's not really a max limit, but after a certain distance, the generation starts to get funky, I think. Let's see, is there any stuff here that we can just ditch? Carpet, spawn agitators, item frame. Need to repair that. No, there's yeah, no it, reason to carry two of those. Yeah, we should have to look into Evercraft about the chest thingy. Yeah, the repair one. Actually, didn't I throw one of you? Yeah, for this a regular one, then you upgrade it to a massive one. <clears throat> it's probably good for mass repairs. 
Okay. This one, I believe, should be multi-use. So if we just put down our respawn point here. Let's see. Allows you to teleport to your respawn point. Oh, uh, oh yeah. These need to be charged. Or not. Does it need to be charged for a certain amount of time? Oh, hello. Oh, come on. That used it up as well. Oh, come on. You used home magic. Let's see. Where's the stone pen? Home magic. Recall magic. Hmm. Okay. This is getting annoying with how much of these are just single use. Yeah, like sometimes I get the single use part, but maybe say it single use. Um, let's see. We don't have anything. We don't have a necklace trinket yet, and we picked up these two. So let's see. Necklace, necklace, necklace. Heart amulet, what? Klein star bracelet, necklace. There has a chance to damage attackers. We'll have, we can. I'm putting that one in the main bag, just for when we get into <clears throat> water exploration. Actually, let's run a little test with it at the moment to see what it actually means with move freely on the water. Oh, it means that. Means we sink like a <laughs> we sink like a brick. Okay, that okay. would be useful in cases. Yep, but also disastrous in others. Yeah, so we're putting that one in the bag. <laughs> also, speaking of the bag, we we're going to put this down. So uh, let's actually do that. And yeah, we have I saw casting some and blazing. I saw some purple light over there. I don't... Oh, wait, what? This one hasn't broken? Oh, you made a permanent one! Uh, accidentally, it seems. Hmm. Yeah, but I think... Oh, yeah, I think you can intensify them to light up a bigger area. So, in a way, you could probably make them more powerful than, uh, you know, regular torches. And... Sure, it's, it's... Especially if we can make them permanent. Hmm. And yeah. but what is this? <laughs> what is this? Uh, a grave for mice? But it's uh, more your size. Uh, let's see. Onk. There we go. Onk of Frey allows you to pray to, for your soul on graves. Hold right click near a decorative grave to pray. Left click on a grave soul. Reset all your perks. Okay. Okay. Make that with sticks, grave dust, and uh, gold. Let's quickly make that. Actually, just stick. One, two, three, four. Maybe I should just empty out all of our stuff that has emc value into the tablet just so we can uh, that that would feel a bit too much like cheating i guess yeah or a pain if you accidentally lose it yeah <laughs> it would put everything we have in one place but also lose everything in one place <clears throat> okay Make that onk. Let's see what this will actually do. I have used this mod before, I remember, in all the mod 6, but I don't remember all of the stuff that it... Actually, I think it has teleportation as well. So this might be a way to... First prayer. This might be a way of easily just teleporting back without having to put up a waystone. If that is still as I remember it, though. Uh, which mod is this? Corail Tombstone. Okay. 
Micro Rail. That's a bunch of new enchantments. A tablet of home. Yep. No, <laughs> I was I was looking for I was trying to hover over this one, but I hovered over this one instead. Let's see. Ancient tablet of home. All the creatures around you will also be teleported. Okay, that would be useful for moving animals. Cupidity. Lost tablets. Must have possessed a great power long ago. Scroll of knowledge. Allows you to store your experience with a percentage lost in the transfer. Okay. An empty tablet. Does the vanishing. Allows for an easy retreat. Right click to vanish. So a smoke bomb of sorts. Let's see. Right click with that on gravestone. Yep, not brave, but like gunpowder. It, it, it is a smoke bomb. Yep, and he has a smoke yeah. ball. Oh dear. Okay, what, what is it? Can we summon skeletons or something with this? Maybe. Graves key, that is what you get when you die. Sawmill. Let's see. What? That's just. Okay, just iron and mine wood planks. Yeah, and is that something about frostbite? Mine. Frost resistance, frost bite, ghostly shape, prayer. These must. They, those are probably effects. Enchanted bundle, magic impregnation book, uh, book of repairing. Wait, what? Voodoo puppet. Allows you to prevent certain types of death. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Magic impregnation it's book strengthens. With magic and uh, strengthens an item with magic. Okay, that's <laughs> that's put in the wrong order. Okay, and this is the fishing rod of misadventure. Uh, Presages unlucky what? fishing. <laughs> okay. Bone needle. Hmm. Is there a book what? about this to explain more of it? So a weapon got impregnated sword. I feel like they're using the term very badly here. <laughs> okay, in the meantime, that is going in there. And we are bringing that out. And we're going to repair it. Thanks. So, no. so how is the work going here? Do a check on that. Yep. Just <laughs> two torches is all you needed. Come on. I think you can teach them to make them. Yeah, we actually we actually uh, did that at this one. Uh, this place is far from uh, self sufficient. We we'd have to set up a a, a warehouse, uh, a courier, and some production places. To get moved, you know, to even get started towards that, but that would still yeah. take quite a lot of time. Yep. And I hear yeah, thought we could nice. build under where he is standing now a tunnel downward for a, mi a, a mining area yeah, for true. the miner and blacksmith, all that, but I'm not sure that's how good that is. That is uh, Depending how close that the underground river is under us. Let's see. Amethyst bronze. Do it, actually, that would make it a good fishing place. Yeah, there we go. Copper and amethyst. One each. Um, did I have any of those? Copper. Okay. And did I put amethyst in this? Yes, I did. No. Do you need the shards for that? Or do you need the entire block? Guard tower work has started. I might as well throw in a block of each. Though I believe a block of this is four shards. So we'll have to get some more just to have an equal amount. This should be nine each. Oh, and... Okay, we could make them... Now I see, we could make them way bigger than yep. these things. And the guard oh, tower that means it's, 
Yeah, that means it's going to be fun when we do the arcane forge and all that. Yeah, I'm also planning to, like I said at the start, I'm, I'll be building some. I'll be, I'll be building a blaze spawner above this uh, when that would work, uh, so that we can get blazing blood for well, <clears throat> yeah, not. This is just normal blood in there at the moment, because of course I fell into the stupid thing as I was building it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, blazing blood is oh, needed. So how did the blood get there? <laughs> uh, yeah, blazing oh, blood oh. is needed for smelting stuff with a higher temperature requirement. Uh, oh no! Oh no! Just realize something. Hmm? Um, you you literally put your blood, sweat, and tears into the forge. Yep. <laughs> you become a pun. How does it feel? Uh, pretty good. Really? So you would do it again? Yeah, I don't mind being the butt of a joke. Hmm. Oh, I thought you were, you didn't mind throwing yourself in the mentor again. Let's see. Wrong one with that. There is a certain mod that I found out about that uh, would be very nice for decorating, oh. but I forget the name. Holy! Of it. See, is this? Yeah, Domum Ornamentum. Let's see. Architect's Cutter, which is stone slabs, wood, and an iron ingot, okay, or logs, okay. Uh, that's this would be nice for uh, let's just get three of these because it allows you to mix blocks. Uh, log, just about any will do. Yeah, now I'm curious. For yeah, I recently we still have a mod the list. Alright, yeah. We still have a idea to make an art working workshop of the Enforcer, all that, but we still don't have a proper home for you. True. Um... Wait, does that make you a homeless mayor? <laughs> In a way, I guess, yeah. You give everyone a home except yourself. The closest thing you have is a, a Boat in the harbor upstairs, if you can call it a harbor. Let's see. Now with this, we should be able to combine just about any block with something else. Let's see. Diorite. And we can make different things out of that. And, oh, wait. This is supposed to pick up all of the andesite and such. So it did. So if we put diorite in there... As well as cobblestone. Yeah, there we go. Framed cobblestone. We can mix these together to make different things. They they look rather rough together, maybe because they are rough materials. But if we uh, let's see, just sort them in there. Some polished diorite and some granite, since that looks a lot different. Now, if we put these two in here, yeah, you can see that it makes quite a bit more difference. Let's see. Fancy polished. Let's. Okay. That was cheap. And then we have a, a diorite granite door, and that looks a bit like something <laughs> with that color and shape. Is it the gingerbread man? I'll just leave that there then. <laughs> um, I can imagine the villagers uh, getting a heart, a heart attack. Let's see how's okay. You're oh, you're the guard, I believe, or not? Are you? The... Who are you? Your gold. Uh, yes, you are. So you can use that stuff, or oh, no, no. no. 
his guard tower got upgraded, so he now could use the chainmail stuff that I gave him earlier. <laughs> chainmail him! Hilal, aren't you jealous at the moment? Uh, why? You're the captain and leader of this town, and he ha these guys have bigger hats than you. <laughs> it also makes them bigger. But you have a helmet. Targets. Well, true. Uh, I'm gonna surprise that many of these actually have almost pirate themed hats, unlike the rest of the colony. And then let's see flower pots. We don't have any flower pots, nor any of that corn flower, whatever it is. What is this? Get the corn flower. Hmm. Can I wonder, is the hats and outfits they get random? Um, I'm not actually sure. It's your gold. Okay. But yeah, this is this is my yeah, this is the majority, yeah, the biggest reason why I wanted Project E into this added because it makes it so much freaking easier to uh, get all of the stuff for this. Let's see, Marcy, Stone Baby, yep. And it makes it so unbelievably eas much easier than having to make all of this stuff by hand. And there we go. Might as well put the rest of that in there as well, because it's going to be used when upgrading other houses as well. Uh, mossy stone brick and nether brick. Nether brick? Okay. Wait, yeah. but up, what are you upgrading now? Uh, this one is going to be upgrading the one of the houses. And as you can see here, required resources house. Ooh, okay, okay. Some racks. Yeah, it, it would take a hell of a lot longer to have to go back and forth between places to, well, for one, get out of resources and, and make them. Spruce doors, red vans. Okay. Spruce door. Eventually, you would be able, like I said earlier, you would be able to automate the construction in your uh, place by making carpenters and such, but it would take quite a bit of time to even get there first. Yeah, it will. It will. A bunch of barrels. Um, you know, even now, we won't be able to finish this because we are lacking in these flower pots and corn flowers. And just flowers in general. But the rest we can easily make. Uh, stone bricks, stone brick stairs. Do they ask for roses? Like, <clears throat> we have rose field. That should be enough. And the rest we just dump in here for later use. So we don't have to make them later. Uh, trap yep. wire hook, or trap wire hook, we, yep, we have oh, yeah. those. Why do we have to investigate what other weapons we can make? Like, some good range weapon against the Guardian and Magma Slimes? Super Harvest Moon Rises, okay. Put that there. Don't use, don't know flying indoors. The game is being low with the music again for some reason. I don't think it has popped yeah. up at any point so far. Oh, it's trap doors. It's rather random. Okay. Uh, there. Okay, then we put one of those in there. Uh, and how much we need uh, three of them? Okay. One, two, three. Uh, might as well throw this in there. 
and that leaves the flowers cornflowers and daisies the flower pots we should be able to make ourselves with some brick so we just do this we make these feed them into here and then we just make more okay uh, how do we sew the uh, cornflower part? Or, wait, or did, you, did you already fix it? Uh, we need to find the flowers first. And it's nighttime, so they stopped working. Um, yeah, let's just head upstairs. I need to make. It's going to do this for a second and put it back down. The reason why I do that is because that puts it at the top of the list. So ah, okay, to, okay. Uh, scroll back. We don't have to swap over again. Now then. Um, now four minutes about left. Oh, no, uh, one hour. <laughs> no. Um, no. Let's see. Some notes for what to do in between. Um, still have Upgrade weaponry? Yeah. Uh, ranged weapon. Um, still, we yeah, still like have to find freaking all the modium. Yeah, the, the spell we have is good, just Maybe not exactly the spell we need to defeat the damn Gar Blaze Guardian and Magma Slimes. Yeah, speaking of, clear out the foundry. Yeah, as I said, as once we get the foundry. The whole city building thing should become much easier. Yeah. Mm. Beyond that, what more? Uh, we need something. We need silk touch. Or, well, to make the spawner in the first place. Um. Just. So we can steal some of them. Yep. Uh, oh dear. Hopefully we can find some uh, uh, when we raid the Nether. I feel like seen. I think I've seen several YouTubers find silk touch in Nether loot before they able to have luck in getting it from the enchantment table. Do I don't know. I think there might be a spell for it, actually, in the book. So, not fully sure. Also, the reason this thing here, I, I I pointed it out, but I didn't actually say what it, what I was, yeah, what I was doing with it, is, uh, where are they? One of the thing, ah, there we are, dark gems. One of the things with evil craft that you need for making stuff is, uh, do we have any here? Doesn't look like it. You need dark gem dust, which you can get through two ways. The first is by yeah, mining uh, dark gems with a, uh, a fortune pickaxe, or doing this. Yeah, crushed dark gem. With your own body weight. Now, there is an automated version of this, but I haven't built that, and it haven't really needed to build it. This uh, this here is for getting hardened blood, which was needed for something. And the way we get that is to put blood in this thing, the drying basin. And with the hopper underneath it, once this is done solidifying, it'll just get put into the chest. This here, uh, it's an evil craft... Yeah, tank, but it doesn't have evil craft blood in it. That's always annoying when, uh, yeah, mods have the same thing it, technically, but they they still keep them different between the mods. So this blood is unusable for any evil craft stuff. 
Okay, I guess that means explain a thing I heard you to say that they prefer better Minecraft uh, mod pack compared to uh, on mod six, simply because uh, the Minecraft mod pack was better optimized. Yeah, that is a problem with all the mods, is that there are so many in there that there are conflicts eventually. Yeah, we sometimes make me wonder if it was really good idea to use R7. Uh, maybe, but it still allows us to have a... It still allows us to get uh, to know a lot of mods, and so that uh, later on we can decide to be more precise with things. True. I guess it does make a good mod showcase. Yeah. For one, we know that we want Ars Nouveau, we want Evil Craft, we want uh, Cooking for Blockheads. There's also Farming for Blockheads, I believe. This one is supposed to be pretty useful at some point. I could call something about that. Uh, actually, let's have a look here before we go. Eh? The single pig that we have just wandering around in there. Is that an Enderman? That's an Enderman. Okay. And that's... Okay, I think I landed on exactly the same spot. They still haven't put anything out of that. Hmm. Let's take a Again, quick moment, actually. It might be the whole uh, thingy. Honestly, you need to tell them. It's automation. The main ones. Tool for conquering source relays and automation entities. The transfer path used to want. Okay. Oh. We need to use the scepter on the. I mean, one of the nation on it, don't we? No, it's automatically sending. It's it's auto. Yeah, it's been automatically sending source to it. I think that is more for a long distance uh, transfer. I guess this thing is almost full. Eighty-eight percent to be exact. Uh, let's continue a bit looking. Drug me charm. Da -da -da, can be given a home in the world. We provide items from nearby monsters and. Oh, animal monsters and animals. Okay, so we if we trap a bunch of skeletons or zombies, we can also get stuff from them. Right. Uh, maybe even Endermen somehow. Hmm. Yeah, they would just teleport out of any enclosure that we make. So a Weldon Hornet. You may die a break me a motorcycle running riding past. Cyan, orange, or brown. Summoned the uh, Addition, use more charms on the hands. Casting the spell or killing the Drake me will return your charm. Can also produce experience gems. Let's see. Production. Each Drake me working around a hands contributes progress. Once maximum progress has been reached, the hands will generate items and experience gems and deposit them into nearby inventories. Each time this occurs, the hands will require a source to recharge. The number of drops and experience gems is equal to the Drake me happiness and you know, experience value of the entities. To get started, place a chest and jar of source next to the hench. Okay, but we already did that. So are you just... You did didn't put the source there. next to the hench. It's still been draining from it, but maybe putting it directly next to it. Maybe that will fix it. Yeah. Wait, 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 no, no, no. And we just, he just moved the hands between them. Mm. Super Harvest Moon says... <laughs> For a moment I thought something happened there, but there was just Source coming into this thing. Mm. The 10x10 10 10 range of should cover basically everything in here. What are you so happy about? Can't access that thing. Hmm. It, oh, that's why that little thing is called a hinge. Yeah, it, it looks a bit like Stonehenge. It's a miniature Stonehenge. What the heck? Uh, one more sign and one more thing to figure out with it then. Or to note. Mm, yeah, but if we be... can get that to work. We have basically then a... Hmm. 
there. Yeah. If we get this to work, we basically have uh, an automatic meat farm. Yeah. Without death. Should probably also Which this sounds weird. A bit, or oh. In brewing, at least. Should be able to get some useful stuff from that, though I absolutely know nothing about it. Probably also clean also something just sort all of this shit out <laughs> yeah you're definitely gonna need to do that and probably put up more drake meats as well just to have it speed up even if that might be the issue uh, yeah if i think they get happier the more there are of them yeah. and he's alone and they they work faster when they are they ha when they are happier so they work faster when there's more of them Okay. Uh, mechanism. I hope that's the right spelling. Um, hmm. Yeah, I, I think, think that's, that's the mod it. spelling. Um, hold on. No, one more thing. Uh, actually, no. We need ocean. We need aquatic gear first, so we can leave that one out. Um, uh, yes, right. Aquatic gear. Yeah, we already have that here. Um, oh. Yeah, I can't really think of much else to add onto that at the moment. Then. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll have to see then what we. Yeah, next time. Yeah, we should definitely investigate the, the bots here. There. That's also going to be useful. But we should probably call it there because we've gone a bit over time already. So, save and quit. Yep. And, yeah, off stream, I'll continue working on the colony. Make the uh, Blazing Blood forts if I can. I'll still need freaking silk touch first, which is proving to be a very elusive. Maybe I will be able to find a tome somewhere with that. And if I do, I'm I'm throwing that into the I'm throwing that into the tab the, the, the transmutation tablet to ensure that we have more of them later. That's probably wise. Okay. Best to wait for this to save so it doesn't undo all of our progress. But yeah, for now, um, yeah, once this is done, we'll look for someone to raid. But beyond that, uh, went well today, I'd say. Oh, yeah. Here we got some pellets and raiding done. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I didn't actually know there were witch, you know, witch villages like that. Uh, but there's also still yeah. that witch hut for us to plunder. So I don't think we'll be able to get much, <clears throat> much stuff from that that we don't already have. Yeah. Put down a waystone <laughs> near it, or at least a marker. And yeah, it's taking its time with saving, and I'm not going, I'm not going to alt tab from this just in case, because I really don't want to have to refind all of that stuff again. Hmm. I, I hope it hasn't crashed or something or frozen, which is another issue with uh, well all the mods seven in that it takes it's so big it takes a hell of a lot of time to do any much of anything with starting up and such hmm. yeah and i feel like a lot more things can go wrong with it yeah okay i'll risk opening up the, the browser to look on twitch for anyone to to rate shrimp os is on again uh, they're just, I'm just chatting though, so I don't have, know what they might start doing. Uh, let's see. There's no one else that I know that is streaming at the moment. There's the Yogg's cast, but uh, they're a bit big to, to raid. So let's see. Uh, some other people who are streaming at the moment are Sossi Nuyai, who is playing Risk of uh, Rain 2. Sussy B N W Y. I don't know how you're supposed to say that. Maybe Sussy Bunny or something. 
<laughs> uh, let's see. There is that Conrad Zimmer, Zimmerman, yeah, who is playing Spelunky 2. The Grim Cleeper <laughs> playing Rimworld. Gumbaro playing SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Um, Black Crystal. They're, oh, they're just chatting, so no, no idea what they are starting up. Um, yeah, any of those so in, sound interesting to you? Not really, actually. Hmm. Okay, just leave it at this then, and it's still trying to save. I think it might have frozen then, or locked up. Let's hope that we didn't lose. We we're not going to lose anything then. Oh so dear. Let me check with task manager. Uh, let's see. Processes. Okay, everything says it is re responding, so it's just. I hope it's just taking a long ass time. I should probably leave it be then. But uh, yeah, no raids today then, and uh, yeah, we'll see when next we can stream. But until then, thank you anyone who's been watching now or later, and thank you as always, Rick here. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, whenever we can stream again, until then, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, folks, and watch out for seagulls. <laughs> Come on, stream deck. <laughs>